One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two.
Okay. Uh, I would like to encourage you to fill in the white chairs as possible. We'd like to uh, really have the uh, white chairs full as much as possible. Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming out today.
room, thank you all for coming out today uh, for this press conference to introduce Billy Taylor as our 19th men's basketball coach. Uh, today we will have uh, Athletics Director Dave Blank speak, followed by Billy. We will not take questions uh, afterwards, but it will provide an opportunity for uh, some of you to get to meet and greet with uh, Coach Taylor afterwards as well. So at this time, I'd like to uh, introduce Dave Blank to the podium. You'll see this just keep going up today. <clears throat> well, judging by the applause, I don't know if there's any reason for me to even talk. Let's get to, let's get to him, right? Uh, I want to just start off by thanking everybody for being here. Uh, I know that your time is valuable, but uh, thank you for spending a few minutes with us to, uh, to meet our new coach. And uh, I want to uh, thank President Book for all of her support through this process. Uh, as you all know, these, pr these things go quickly, and you can't do it efficiently and properly without a good president and uh, her willingness to clear the schedule and make sure we get things done that, that reflect well on the university in the way that she wants them done. Uh, there's a number of my staff scattered throughout. I want to thank all of them for all their help because it's uh, also a time where I just have to say, hey, do this and do that. And, I don't have time to be nice about it all the time, and I appreciate you all so for understanding. Uh, I want to recognize the members of our team here today. Guys, I told you we'd get to the other side, and here we are. And I'm anxious to uh, see you all get back to work and uh, hopefully beginning with a meeting here today and uh, get to know everybody and keep moving forward. Uh, we're going to get where you were told we were going to go. Uh, and we're going to get there as, as fast as possible. So thank you for being here, and uh, it's going to happen. This search brought a lot of uh, national interest, as everybody knows. That's the nature of basketball. Uh, I just want to assure you that our values are our values. And every time I go through one of these processes, it's the same thing. Uh, this is about Elon University. This is about our academic integrity and our commitment to higher education. And uh, this is about our facilities and our campus being fantastic. And if you're here and you work in our uh, area of physical plant and facilities and uh, grounds and everything else, you did it again. Because I can't tell you how much I lean on that relative to uh, bringing somebody to our campus. And uh, once we get them here, we got them. Um, <laughs> I do have to tell you a story. I don't know if I'm taking Billy's story, but uh, I brought him through this facility in the dark. We were dodging motion sensing lights and all kinds of things. And he said to me this morning, this place looks better with the lights on. You know, I, I, as I learned a lot about him, uh, I, I just became more and more intrigued. But uh, it was basically from a national situation. The places that he's been, I know you all can read the bio and everything, but uh, challenging jobs over a long period of time. Nelson Bob, good to see you, man. I'm <laughs> one of my favorite ADs. Thanks for being here. Um, just where he started, uh, and, and, you know, it all started, to believe, in Greensboro, right, if we don't count playing at Notre Dame. Uh, but getting going in the profession, and, yeah, he talks about people like Fonz. Does anybody know? My Fonz was Happy Days. His is Alfonso Ellis. So very different Fonz that, that he played with. Uh, but, you know, as this thing went around the country, more and more feedback came to me about, about Billy and about his past. And as I talked to lots of different people about lots of other different people, conversation kept coming back. Just kept coming back. And that's the way you want it. Uh, people reflecting on, uh, particularly on his character, uh, what kind of person he is first, and then what kind of coach he is, uh, which means an awful lot to me. And uh, when I see Avalon and uh, Savion and Gavy here, and Mia couldn't be here today. She's one of the family that works, so she's <laughs> she's at work. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, but the the commitment to family and uh, what he and Avalon have built uh, that that's part of the package, and that's certainly an important thing to me uh, personally and professionally. So the whole thing kind of just comes together for me. And the places that he's been, and the challenges that he's had. Uh, have been different at every job. So whether it's not having full funding scholarships, whether it's uh, just being in a really tough league at a tough time when he had that job, a certain job, or whether he's taken over a job that just traditionally hasn't been to the top of the mountain. And uh, with having that breadth of experience, 
another thing that just came back to what we're trying to do here is take all of the great things we have and build excellence in this situation with men's basketball to get to the NCAA tournament. Uh, it kept coming back to the same person. Fran McCaffrey is a friend of mine from way back uh, when he was in the Big South. Uh, I was at Coastal, I believe, then. He was at Greensboro. Billy was with him for a little bit of time there. But uh, Fran and I have been friends throughout. And what they've done at Iowa, uh, there, there was no question what he was learning there. But I know Fran McCaffrey's teams. And I know they play tough. And I know they run and they have fun. And I know Fran's a good person. And I know he turns into a crazy man on the bench. You probably see that if you watch some of the NCAA tournament. Uh, sometimes there's a need for that. Billy's not that. Billy's the antithesis. They're a good combination. Uh, and everybody has told me Billy gets his work done in practice. He likes his players to perform when they play in games. And there's something to be said for that level of maturity in the coaching profession, that he has the right formula and knows how to do it. Uh, his personality, his work ethic, things that just kept coming back from people that spoke to me about Billy. People that I know, people that I've talked to that Billy doesn't know I know. Uh, and, you know, and that's how it works. And as all that information comes back. And then the last test is talk to people about somebody else and try to convince them that it's somebody else. And it keeps coming back to this guy. And, and that's where you want it. That's when you know you're in the right place. And as I interacted with Billy and saw who I think to be the true person that he is, he's the kind of person that you want your kids playing for. And he's the kind of person that we want our athletes at Elon to be playing for. So I am uh, very proud to introduce him. His, his style is to, to teach and give the players the ability to be creative. And what I know about our players is that's going to be a good fit. They're going to get to run. They're going to get to defend. They're going to get to rebound. They're going to get to do all the things they're used to doing. But they're going to get to be them, themselves as well. And that's what you want. And that's what they were brought here to do. So it's a good fit. We're not starting all over with style, and we're not starting all over with ability to be successful because we have players that play our style, that came here to play a particular style that we want in our program that's going to fit with his style. And we have somebody that's done it several times and been successful with the program. So I am very excited to introduce to you Billy Taylor, our new head basketball coach. Had to move it up a little bit more. Uh, it tells you what kind of salesman that Dave is, that he could bring me here to the Shar Center in the dark, walk me through everything in the dark, and for me to say yes. So thank you, Dave, uh, for, for doing that. Uh, I'm just, I'm really I'm honored and I'm humbled to be here in front of you today. What an what a awesome opportunity this is uh, for myself and for our family. Um, when I got the call from Dave, uh, you know, I just couldn't stop smiling. I've been smiling nonstop for the last, I don't even know how many hours it's been. Uh, it's just been so much fun. It's been so enjoyable to, to get to this point and to be excited about a place that I feel is a perfect fit for us as a family for Elon, for our student athletes, uh, and, and really a culmination of all the travels uh, that, that we made and the, the people, the relationships we've built along the way to get here to this point uh, is just really, it's just, it's, it's breathtaking. It's, it, it really just makes you feel a special way. Um, certainly, I want to show some gratitude to, to a lot of folks uh, in this room and, and that couldn't be here that have made this possible for us. Uh, mentioned Dave, President Book, thank you very much for your time being here today means a lot, your support, um, and, and again, I understand what you want as a president, and you want me to, to build these young men up and to teach and learn and, and to, to really help them grow to be the best versions of themselves. So thank you for the opportunity to come here and lead this program. Uh, to my family sitting in the front there, uh, my wife, Avalon, who's been with me for uh, over 22 years now, uh, thank you for everything. Uh, this journey is is, is unique, it's special. We all have our own route uh, that we take, but really her support uh, the entire way, her consistency, uh, her belief in me to allow me to become the best version of myself. So thank you uh, for what you've done for me all these years, and I love you. Uh, to our kids sitting here too that are in, in attendance, uh, the oldest one, Mia, is not here. She is working. Gabby, who's uh, in college still at, at Iowa, um, and Savian, uh, who's in high school. And what's interesting for our kids, 
uh, we've been kind of moving every three years. So for Mia, we moved for her senior year of high school. And then we moved again for Gabby for her senior year of high school. So all the girls were concerned about was, you have to make Savian move for his senior year of high school. <laughs> and so we are moving now for his senior year of high school. Uh, but in a typical boy fashion, he's like, okay, they got a shooting machine there, they got a gym, can I get some shots up? Absolutely, son, we, let's go. Uh, but thank you guys. You know, it, it means a lot. You know, you, you guys go through a lot. These transitions aren't easy on families. And again, I, I see this Elon community coming out, supporting us. I know that you'll support our family as we transition here, making us feel welcome and comfortable so that, so that we can have a great experience here. Um, also, my parents who couldn't be in attendance today, uh, Dennis and Avalon Taylor back in Aurora, Illinois, where I'm from. Uh, I learned so much from them. Uh, they, they, again, they made me the man that I am. Uh, they gave me the love and the attention, the work ethic, taught me how to become wh what you see before you today. So I'm very grateful for my parents, uh, my brother, uh, Colonel Ricky Taylor. Uh, my brother actually uh, had a unique premonition that kind of unfolded before us. Uh, he's getting stationed down at Fort Bragg. And uh, so he, he, exactly, so he said, he said to me about a week before the job opened, before the Elon job opened, he said, you know, every time I've lived in North Carolina, you've lived in North Carolina. And I said, well, okay, there's nothing open. I don't know what we can really do about that. <laughs> and uh, he must have made some calls because clearly, <laughs> you know, colonels have some rank, they got some pull. So um, just really, again, just, just proud of him for what he's been able to accomplish. Having family nearby will be really important to us. And, as we develop our young men into leaders, to be able to lean on someone like my brother with all his years of military service, serving his country, uh, I look forward to you guys getting a chance to interact and meet him and hear some of the stories that he shares. Um, they'll have to be behind closed doors because some of them are a little bit R-rated, but you know, again, that's a, a number of years of service in the military. Um, but you know, as Dave mentioned, Fran McCaffrey, uh, a mentor of mine, uh, Fran has hired me at UNCG to work you know, with Nelson, Daryl Koziak, who's in attendance there, his wife Stacy, are all at Greensboro together. Uh, so Fran hired me at UNCG, then he hired me again at Iowa, then I left, and then he hired me again at Iowa. Uh, and then not to mention, when I was a student athlete, Fran was an assistant coach at, at uh, Notre Dame, and he was the assistant coach that recruited me so he's gotten me to say yes four different times. So besides my wife, Fran is about the only one that can really get me to say yes. Uh, but, you know, I love Fran. I have tremendous respect for him. Uh, in my coaching career, I've, I've got 14 years of head coaching experience, and I've really only been an assistant coach with Fran McCaffrey. And that just tells you the amount of trust that I have in him, his family. Uh, I love them to death. Uh, their, their second son, Patrick, uh, is my godson. And it was funny to see him just tweet out, uh, happy but sad. And that was kind of the, the, the prevailing feeling amongst a lot of folks in Iowa. And uh, I don't know, Chris Hawthorne kind of had some cold weather. Chris, where, I don't know where you're at, but I like the warm weather, Chris. That's why I came here. So Chris has got some Iowa ties and Minnesota ties, but I like the warmth better here. So, um, you know, just coming here and having an opportunity uh, will, will be fantastic. But I'm so grateful to the McCaffreys, everything they've invested into our family. Uh, to help us develop us and really encourage us as we want, have gone on our coaching journey. Um, former players, kind of as I scan the room here, it's really fun uh, to see some of our former guys. And really, you know, for you current players, you know, you'll know a lot about me by seeing some of my former guys that are here. Uh, I've got relationships here from UNC Greensboro. I got players here from Belmont Abbey, uh, guys in the room from Lehigh. So we've got all different groups of people covered, guys that have played for me. And it's really, it's about the players. And I'm so grateful to the players that have shown that they wanted to come back and to support this moment for us, for Elon basketball. And you guys will get a chance to meet them and have some interaction with them. And, and you can ask them about their experience playing for me uh, and being part of the family, part of our family as we grow and, and develop this program and build that, that championship culture. Um, there's obviously so many more people to thank, and, and, and again, I, I could spend all day showing gratitude to all the people that, that have helped me become the man that I could be. Uh, I see Coach Limbo here in the house. Coach Limbo and I were together at Lehigh. Uh, we were together at Ball State, and when the job opened, he was the first one I called. 
And I just said, Pete, what do you think? And, and he said, brother, that's home. That's home. And that's really all he had to say, and, and I was hooked. And, and when, I, when I stepped foot on campus, uh, you know, it was, it was actually fun for me because as I got to campus and, you know, spent some time with Dave, you know, I wanted to take pictures. I was so excited. I wanted to, like, send pictures back, and I told Avalon afterwards, I said, you know, I, I wanted to take a picture, but I didn't think I could sneak it without Dave seeing me trying to get to send them. It was dark. It was dark, yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't have shown up anyway. But I just, I just, I love the campus when I got here. And, uh, you know, really the, the why Elon is about, you know, we have the ability to win here. You know, when I stepped foot on campus, I felt it right away. It felt like home. Again, I was hooked from the moment I got here. Uh, you know, we've, obviously we've got a pristine campus. We've got beautiful buildings. Uh, again, the staff that takes care of our facilities, uh, the, the Shar Center, everything we have is just, it's unbelievable. I mean, it is better than I could have anticipated, better than I could have ever dreamed for as a coach. But more importantly than that, than that, you know, we have great people. And as I got a chance to meet the people here, that's what really impacted me to say this place is special. This is a place where we can win and we can win and, ha and do it the right way and have a great time in doing it. So, you know, that opportunity to win is important. I'm, I'm a competitor. Uh, even though, you know, Fran is, is more up in terms of, you know, kind of his emotional and I'm much more level. Uh, we balance each other out, but I want to win. At the end of the day, I want to win. And again, as some of my, some of my former players are kind of chuckling because they know my competitive nature and they know I want to win and we're going to help this program win. Uh, so that, that was an important factor for me for why Elon. We can win. We can win in the Colonial. We can become regionally relevant. We can go into national prominence and that's what we want to do. All right. And that's not a short journey. It takes time. It takes a lot of work. These young men are going to commit themselves, and uh, they're going to put in a lot of effort to get us there. But I'm excited about that journey that we're going to take. The second part of it for me was the academic piece. Obviously, coming from Notre Dame and my background, uh, kind of, again, what we stress to our children uh, in terms of education, the importance and value of that, uh, you know, school is of the utmost importance. And having an institution like Elon that believes the same thing, and really developing our student athletes to have the greatest level of success in the classroom as well. So it's a big picture approach, you know, for Elon basketball. It's not about just what we do out on the court. It's about when we're walking through and we're getting our diplomas, we're getting our degrees, we're doing our internships, you know, we're going on global experiences, you know, we're having an opportunity to do community service. Those are things that are all really matter to me in terms of the student athlete development. You know, I'm a, I'm a student athlete, former student athlete that did an internship in college. So I learned about what that means, you know, to go and to work in public accounting and take, yes, I had my glasses and my calculator. Yes, I did that. I was that guy. But I had an opportunity to do an internship and work in a summer and get a feel for what that work world, that corporate world was like. And I want our guys to experience that. So that academic piece, that development piece was critical for me. And that's what really, again, just solidified it, that Elon was going to be a place where we could be, you know, incredibly successful. In terms of our aspirations, I already kind of mentioned it. You know, we want to become regionally relevant and nationally prominent. And, you know, that, that takes time. It takes time to build it up. Uh, but we're, we're ready for that. We're ready for that challenge. These, I know these young men will be excited for that. I saw them in here working already, you know, earlier today, coming in at different times. So they've been putting the time in, kind of getting themselves positioned so that we can become something special. And, and really, you know, as Dave mentioned a little bit about style of play uh, and having some former players in here who can attest to, uh, you know, we're, we're going to, a lot of coaches will stand up at the press conference and they want to win the press conference and say, we're going to play fast. And as soon as the first turnover or bad shot, hey, we're going to play slow, slow it down. <laughs> okay. But we are going to play fast. We're going to play with tempo. We're going to play with pace. I trust our guys. Uh, but again, that means we got some development. We got, we have to grow. We have to learn how to play fast. We have to learn what that means, how to play fast without playing crazy. So that means taking great shots, sharing the basketball, high assists, low turnovers, um, sharing the basketball, being great teammates, setting screens, doing all the things, moving the basketball. But we're going to do it at a fast pace. And again, a lot of coaches will say that, and then they end up playing games in the 50s. We're trying to get to 50 by halftime. So again, that's a style that usually our guys like to hear because it's like, hey, more shots, right? More shots, more possessions. So some smiles in the front. Exactly, yes. So guys like to hear, we're going to play fast. We're going to get up and down the floor share the basketball, and it'll be fun. It'll be a fun style to play in for them as players, but also be fun for our fan base to watch and support. 
because we are going to have fun. We're going to pressure defense, change our defenses. Uh, but again, something that I've learned at Iowa and been able to really take and put on the floor at Belmont Abbey. And those guys, our teams played fast there. We led our conference in scoring. We had guys that were scoring champs. I've been very fortunate as a coach to have four different players at different universities lead the conference in scoring. So, you know, having that, that ability to have guys play fast, score the basketball, share the basketball without playing crazy uh, is something that we're going to spend a lot of time doing and developing within our program. So I'm really, I'm excited for the opportunity. Again, it's really about the people and having the right people in our program. First, you know, our student athletes that, that we have and building them up. And then, you know, the, the, the dirty word that everybody talks about, the dirty two-letter word uh, is transfer portal, right? And we've been hit by it. I know we've got a lot of guys in the portal currently. Uh, there's, I don't know, maybe 1,300 names for basketball in the, in the transfer portal. And that was as of, you know, last week. Uh, so it'll probably grow a little bit more this week. Uh, so if there's somewhere around 1,500 players in the portal, uh, and navigating the transfer portal is, is unique because there are programs that try to do it all in the transfer portal, and they, they neglect the student athletes we have here. And I don't believe in that. I believe we have something here. We have some special talent in our program currently. We need to enhance that with some help in, from the portal to replace some guys we're, we're, we're losing. And we need to still recruit our high school student athletes, high school, prep school, so we have a good balance, a good mix of talent in our program that can help us be consistently good because we don't want to just build it for one year, have one year of success and then mediocrity. All right? We want sustained excellence, and we want to pursue that excellence over a long period of time. So I want these young men to be able to build something so that five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, they'll come back and say, yeah, remember when we did this in 22, we did this in 23. We built that. And again, I'm, I'm grateful to be able to do this journey with all of you. I'm excited about it. I look forward to getting a chance to meet everyone and for you to meet our family. And, and we just look forward to being embraced by this community. And uh, we're excited to be here. So thank you again. Look forward to talking with you all very soon. Thanks. I didn't go back down. That's uh, the conclusion of our press conference today. Thank you all very much for coming out for the media. If you have uh, interviews you'd like to do with either Dave or with Billy, please let me know, and uh, we'll make sure we get taken care of you. And uh, otherwise, feel free to come up and introduce yourself to Coach and go from there, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs>